Hi everyone, my name is Craig Powell. Uh, thank you for joining me on my walk today. It's uh, me and Lieutenant Ripley, my 12-year-old uh, Border Collie. We're out for our little daily jaunt. Um, why am I out here? Well, I found that sitting in my office trying to do videos, uh, I would look at the camera and I would just freeze up. I would forget everything that I was going to say. And I found that whenever I was out walking or driving the car or doing something like that, uh, my brain would just come out with all the things that I want to say all naturally. Not always perfect, but it does work a little bit better for me. And that's why I came out with this new series. Uh, this is the first episode. Um, it's called Walk and Talk New Brunswick. And um, this is episode one. And episode one is actually um, my five uh, reasons for moving to New Brunswick. I am not a New Brunswick native. Uh, I did um, live here for a little while when I was a child, but I have lived my entire adult life in uh, the greater Toronto area. And my wife and I, we did this journey about, uh, about five years ago now. I can't believe it's already been five years. And uh, my reasons for moving to New Brunswick are going to be different than your reasons. Um, we all have our own motivations, but I was hoping this video would kind of uh, would kind of help. And if your ideas are the same as mine, maybe there's some useful information in here for you. So without further ado, let's uh, talk about my five reasons for moving to New Brunswick. Okay, so number five. Well, for me, it's got to be the lack of pollution and lack of traffic. I know those are two things, but I like to combine them into one. Um, if you're used to living in a major city, maybe you don't live in a major city, you live in the country and you're not going to see a big difference. But for me, it was a huge difference. Um, I had chronic allergies my whole life. I've been on medication on and off for years and years and years and years. And um, I always thought I was allergic to, you know, trees or flowers or something. I never really got tested, but I went on the medication and that would help with its own unique side effects. Um, I move out here, two months, no more allergies. I mean, other than the odd little sniffle in the spring, that's it. No more allergies, no more medication. Uh, the pollution is so low here. So I believe that I was actually suffering from, from probably, you know, pollution. And it, it, I, can't, I can't begin to tell you how much it actually changed my life just on that alone. Uh, the other thing that kind of combines it a little bit, uh, the traffic. Holy cow. Uh, I can't, can't believe how long it used to take to get from Whippy, Ontario to downtown. And if there just happened to have been one car accident, you're in traffic for hours. And anybody that lives in that area, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't need to, to preach that to you. Uh, we come out here to the greater Moncton area and that traffic is gone. Sorry, I'm adjusting the camera here so I go down my next trail. Uh, the traffic is gone. Um, other than a couple little traffic snarls in Dieppe sometimes and, you know, maybe rush hour in Moncton, it gets a little bit backed up, but it's like night and day. It's nothing like what I was seeing in, uh, in the greater Toronto area. So, so it was a real pleasure uh, to, to drive into work every day or, or to even take clients out on calls and things like that. I wasn't having to, to wrestle with all that traffic. Um, so that was number five. Number four. Well, for me, it's got to be the things to do. Um, I mean, there's just so much I can't even describe. Um, where Moncton is located, it is known as the hub city, and it's known as a hub city for a reason. Um, everywhere you go in any direction is a major city center. Uh, you can go to St. John, 90 minutes. Go to Fredericton. 90 minutes. You can go to the Halifax and Dartmouth area in Nova Scotia, about two and a half hours. You can go to Charlottetown, just under two hours, including the bridge. 
Um, so there's just so much to see. And so, you, you know, if you're going to live in the Moncton area, and there's some great things to see here as well, but you don't have to just stay right here in Moncton. You can go out on day trips, you can go out on weekend trips, and there's just so much to see. We have some fantastic national parks. Um, we have um, the Bay of Fundy uh, with Hopewell Rocks, which is a major, major attraction. Um, we have Shidiac, which is a coastal city right near Moncton that has some of the nicest beaches and the warmest waters north of the Carolina. So I would say that number four is just all the things to do here. And it's a lot of outdoor stuff, I will agree. You know, there, it, most of the, the major attraction out here is outdoor. And, um, and for me, that was a major draw because when you live in the city, um, that's all you see is city. So it's kind of nice to, to be able to go out and, and experience different things at different times. We're also very close to the border as well. You can be into Maine uh, in about four and a half hours. So if you like to do a little bit of cross-border shopping, uh, Maine is right there. Um, so yes, location, location, location. Um, so that's number four. So uh, number three, uh, number three for me uh, is going to have to be, it's going to have to be stress. Um, I ran my own business for most of my adult life with my family. And I must tell you, uh, living in a major city, uh, trying to afford everything, especially the cost of homes there, um, you know, was, uh, was, was stressful. And I, I think it was more than that. It wasn't just how, how pricey the homes are or the cost of living was, because the cost of living, let, let's, be, let's be real here, the cost of living is going to be about the same even here in Moncton. Uh, groceries are going to be about the same. The gas is the same. Your property taxes are actually even a little bit more here. But um, for me, the stress of the traffic, uh, the pollution, and kind of the go, 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 go type of lifestyle uh, for most of my adult life, it has its toll. And it took its toll on me. Major city like I did for most of my adult life. It came with, uh, um, you know, a lot of baggage. Now, we had nice things my wife and I we had a nice house we had nice cars we had lots of friends and we had those those good things but but I think living in a city um, like the GTA it, it did take its toll on me personally um, I think the traffic the pollution and that kind of that go 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 type of lifestyle uh, over a period of decades, it really, I think it, for me, it, it, um, it took its toll on me. So when I came out here, I found, especially in that first year, I had to actually learn how to slow down. Um, I, I want things quickly. I, I was actually, I, I found myself a little bit demanding even, um, you know, I'd go into a store and I'm looking for something right away. And, um, this is all pre COVID. And I couldn't find it and I found that actually very stressful because this is a smaller city center. And I found that the residents are uh, more laid back. And, and I knew that, I knew that when I came out here, but I didn't realize exactly how much. There is a, there's a different pace. And it's not that it's a slower pace here. I wouldn't say that at all. I would say that the pace here is normal. This is what it should be like. And um, I, for me, stress was definitely gonna be one of those things I wanna get rid of. And I found myself after about a year here, walking my trails, um, not having to deal with the traffic, um, I found that my stress dropped a huge, huge amount. So number three, is, for me, definitely has gotta be stress. And by the way, I'm sorry if I'm not always <laughs> looking at the camera, uh, I'm gonna have to learn to keep looking at the camera when I'm walking uh, so that I can give some eye contact, but uh, I'm still getting kind of used to this walk and talk video. Uh, so please bear with me. Okay, so my number two reason um, for moving to New Brunswick, yes, gotta keep looking at the camera. Um, number two reason for moving to New Brunswick. Well, this wasn't a reason that I thought of when I was living in Ontario. I was actually pleasantly surprised to call this my number two. And my number two reason for moving here, it's the people. Um, 
I thought that I was going to be at a unique disadvantage not being able to speak French. I'd heard that there is a large French population here, Acadian population is probably a better way to put it. And, um, and in certain centers, depending on where you live, there is quite a bit of French speaking people. And I was concerned that I would have trouble making friends, uh, that, that, uh, that I would have some trouble maybe even in, in whatever career uh, path that I was going to choose. And I was pleasantly surprised that that was not the case. Um, the people here are extremely friendly, very welcoming. And I have never felt for one moment that I was not welcome here. Uh, in, in fact, in this little community where we moved in is, um, is a very, very large Acadian population. Um, my neighbors all speak French and most of them have become our friends which is fantastic. Uh, now my wife, she speaks French fluently, so um, she didn't, you know, she, she wasn't gonna have any disadvantage as far as she was concerned, but I was concerned. So I just wanna go on record right now that for me personally, no matter where I've went in New Brunswick, whether it was Riverview or Dieppe or Moncton or Shidiac or Rishibuktu or any of those Northern areas, everyone that I've come into contact with that when I spoke English, they spoke English as well. And uh, so don't worry about that too much. Where it could be important, uh, it could be important in some government jobs where you need to have both languages, but that's often fairly common in, in government. But other than that, it has not been an issue. So that is my number two reason, the people. Very welcoming, very friendly, and we have made so many friends here. In fact, uh, I, I will actually go a little further to say that I have more friends here in a province that, you know, that I, I came to only five years ago than I did in my entire life in Ontario. And I just lost my earpiece, so I'm just going to go <laughs> put that back in. So bear with me, please. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. So that was my number two reason. Okay, so I want to talk about my number one reason uh, for moving to New Brunswick. Make sure I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> I keep looking the other way. I have no idea why, but I keep doing it. Anyways, my number one reason for me, uh, it's got to be the, uh, the price of properties. Even with uh, the last couple of years, we have seen an increase in, in the cost of properties. It is still one of the lowest um, uh, costs of living in Canada as far as how much the properties will actually cost you. Um, the cost of living, which is, let's call it groceries, gas, and utilities, uh, well, I've actually found them about the same as Ontario. So if you're looking for a real break in those things, you're not gonna discover that here. Um, but, you know, you can go out and buy a home where that same home under the same circumstances is going to cost you a million dollars you can get that same home for you know three or four hundred thousand and there's even some that are less than that depending on where it is um, um, in in relation to to Moncton so so for me uh, selling my home in Ontario and coming out here was definitely a plus and uh, and allowed me actually to go up a couple of notches that I could never have afforded in Ontario. So for me, that is my number one reason for moving here. Um, would I say that all the reasons are not as important as the others? No, I, I would say that if I had my top five reasons, they'd all be my top five reasons. Um, there isn't really a one to five. Uh, I moved here for all those reasons and I have been really happy with the choice that I have made personally. Um, and I got into real estate because I wanted to be able to, to help other people um, do what I did. Uh, my wife and I, we did the learning curve. I would like to say that we were the first, you know? I know we weren't, but it sure felt like we were the first uh, to do this. Um, and I wanna be able to help you um, get here. I wanna be able to tell you about New Brunswick. I wanna be able to tell you about the areas, which I am extremely familiar with. And I want to tell you all about how you can make that move from whatever province that you're living in, uh, or country for that matter, and get settled here. Uh, that is my number one priority. So please, check all my links down below if you have any questions whatsoever. And, and it doesn't matter what those questions are. 
please by all means reach out on my contact information below. Um, if you like these videos, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos. Uh, in fact, I've got a bunch of them already recorded. I just have to kind of produce them. And those videos are going to be all about me living in New Brunswick, my wife and I, and the places that you can visit and things that you can see. And I'm going to try to give as much information about this wonderful area as I can. And all of them are going to be walk and talk videos because that is the only way I can get all this information across. So thanks very much for your attention. I'm sorry this ran a little bit long. And, uh, and I'm also uh, welcome to any comments that you have. Uh, hopefully the videos will get better as I go along and I kind of learn how to do this. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. So till next time, we'll see you in New Brunswick.